Hi, I'm Roscoe. This is Mark. We're your truck agent. And today we're going to talk about another important part of the, the job. Rate confirmation. Which, Simple. Two pages, yeah, usually. Called an RC One for page. short. And that, what, what is a rate confirmation? What is it? It's a contract between yes. the broker and the driver owner. Right. Tells you, tells us what? What's it going to tell us? Well, it's going to tell us how much the load pays. <laughs> the most important thing, right, to us anyway. Right? We, that, right. That's what we negotiate yeah. is the price. right. Um, generally, what we see is a load that's going from A to B. They put out a number. We tell them it's too low. We give them a number. They tell us it's too high. And we meet, we meet in the middle with a price. And they put it on the rate confirmation. So and this rate know. confirmation is, this, I'm showing you the price, that's how you get paid. There's, what, two things you need, rate confirmation right. and, and a bill of lading. And a bill of lading, if, right. If you have a rate confirmation and a bill of lading, if you're using a factoring company, you should get paid very quickly after you send these documents into your factoring company. Right, your paperwork is very important. We're going to get into that in a little while in the notes section. So... The rate confirmation tells us where the freight is. Right. The pickup. The pickup and where it's going to go. And the delivery. Right. So. And what about the little detail, the notes? There's a section on the rate confirmation. It's called notes. Now. Drivers. Nobody, read nobody these wants notes. to read the notes, but you got to read the notes. And don't the, rely on dis, your dispatch right. to read these right. notes. If you don't read the notes, the they say they will incur penalties, and you know what? They will. And the penalties, the penalties are bad. That means they can take some of your money away if you don't comply with some of the notes. So This is Landstar. Just, yeah, okay. and Landstar, very big company. We do a lot of work with them. Great company for new owner operators, right. new authorities, but here's the thing. Check calls required every morning by 8 o'clock. means you got to tell them where you are at 8 in the morning. Now, you don't want to do that because you might be asleep. You might have you might have been uh, driving till 4 in the morning, and you're not going to get up at 8. Now, what you want to do is you want to let your dispatcher know by a simple text where you are when you go to sleep so that your dispatcher can handle that and tell Landstar where you are at 8 in the morning. You don't have to get up. Failure to do so results in a $250 fine. $250. We can't afford that today. That's how many gallons of gas? Three. Three or four, maybe. <laughs> and every every broker, even brokers within companies like Landstar, TQL, um, they can be different from office to office. Right. So you got to read the notes. That's the point. That's our point here. On the rate confirmation, there's notes. Landstar must be notified of any overages, shortages, or damaged product immediately upon arrival. Yeah, if anything happens, you got to tell them. Otherwise Failure to do so is 50%. Wow. 50%. 50%. They must be made aware of problems during transit. They just want you to communicate yeah. with them. And, and that is, we touch on that in another video. Right. Communication, how to communicate with your, with your uh, uh, dispatcher. So this is all part of it. So you might as well be communicating, make everything go smooth. Right. And you're running this freight for money, right? This particular load pays $1,500 to go from A to B. The broker contracted you to run this load for money. How does the broker get paid? The broker sends in a bill of lading, and we're going to go over the bill of lading in our next video. The bill of lading, the broker submits to the contractee, the consignee, and the consignee pays the broker, and the broker pays the driver or the truck owner. Now, if you're using a factoring company, that's fine. It's still the company, Landstar, paying the factoring company, because I guarantee you, if you don't have, if your factoring company doesn't get paid by the broker, they're going to claw back whatever monies they gave you. So you want to make sure that these papers are done in a timely manner. When you're completed the load, get the bill of lading in to the broker as quickly as uh, practical. See, and these, these are your two, your two really important basic uh, uh, pieces of paper that, that right. the driver has to handle. 
It's important to keep your paperwork in order. Now, as, as dispatchers, we do as much as we can for the driver. But you will have these two pieces of paper in your possession, and you have to handle them. You, then you send them to us, and we can do the rest. But they always start with you and these two pieces of paper. I, sub, I send the rate confirmation to the owner of the truck. I send this. So I don't need the driver to send me back the rate confirmation. The bill of lading is generally given to you by the shipper. And when you get to the other side at the receiver, that receiver signs the bill of lading. So when a driver has a bill of lading, there's a few things that we need to have happen. Number one, I need to know what the driver's name is. And I just have that written right here in magic marker. You write it right on the, on the BOL. You I want to know it. what date that the driver picked the freight up. I want to know who the broker is and the broker's number, their PO number, whatever they use. This all helps you to get paid. So with, with this little bit of information written on the bill of lading and the receiver signing the bill of lading, this document now gets sent to your dispatch and your dispatch will forward it on right. to... You send it, you get it, you send it to us, we take it from there and we get you paid. Yep. And we'll send it to the factoring company, or if you're not right. using a factoring we'll handle company. It. Or your, your, your own dispatcher. That's what we do for our drivers. If uh, you, you should have a dispatcher that does that, too. And by having these filed properly, you can find them a year from now, six months from now, ten years from now. Uh, it's a, there's a very simple system for keeping these things in order. So that's just a quick note on the... Uh, Rate confirmation, we're going to talk about the bill of lading. That'll Actually, be in our next movie. Actually, we kind of just did, didn't we? Yeah, but yeah. we're going to go a little more <laughs> right. detail. All so right, we'll see good. you in a few minutes or next time you're in, check out that other video. Thanks for coming by.